Denki Kaminari. I don't know who that is. I think this is a boy. So electrification. Electric gym leader, maybe. I think I'm gonna give him like real crazy hair like that. I don't have the time to make this look good. Actually, I think I made his eyes a little too kind, you know? He looks too nice um, for a person whose power is electrification, so let's make him look mean. Okay, so we have one down. Mezo Shoji Duplet Arms. Sounds like a girl. I'm gonna make her hair look really styled up. She sounds like a nice girl. Let's spurt one out of the shoulder. And one from the other shoulder. Dupla arms. Here we go. Mina Asayudo. Acid. Wait, I actually think I know what this one looks like. She's like the pink one, right? She's like pink homestuck. Yes? No? Yes? Yes? Starfire bangs? It's, not, it's something like this. It's, it's something- it's something like this, man. It's something like this. I know she's all pink. The whites of her eyes are black. But despite her look, she's pretty, like, out there, outgoing, you know? I think she has fangs. As for her outfit, a hazmat suit. I don't know what a hazmat suit looks like. You know, I've, I've never had radiation poisoning, so I wouldn't really know what it looks like. But then again, the people who have had radiation poisoning probably don't know what it looks like either. Rikido Sato, Sugar Rush. I don't know what the hell that means, but... Like, if you've seen Holy Musical Batman, the character, um, what's he? Sweet Tooth, the parody of the Joker, I think I'm just gonna take inspiration from Sweet Tooth. Yeah, I don't have a high opinion of this one. I think he's gonna be kind of, kind of clickish, kind of rude. Kind of like, get away from me. Sugar Rush? I don't know, that translates to like candy store salesman to me, I guess? I feel like this is gonna be the one that like betrays the group in the end. I don't know how. Next one. Hanta Sero. Tape. Alright. Oh, we're kind of in the lightning mode right now. If I had to base a personality on the quirk and hers is tape, I would say she's a very clingy person. Doesn't really know concepts of personal space. She got sticky hair. She always wears tight-fitting clothes. Uh, not always intentionally, but it just happens. Next one. Fumikage Tokoyami. Dark Shadow. Maybe that one's just a shadow. It sounds like another girl. I know there's one that's like, that's like a bird. That's like a crow or a raven or something. But I know that there is a bird. I think that this one is just a shadow though. Ida Tenya, engine. What does that mean? What does this mean for us? Is he a cyborg? I think this guy's a guy. Unless he's like a human car. Are they cars? Should I just make him a car? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. When I said here's what we're gonna do, I meant we're just gonna craft an abomination. Here we go. I am in my element right now. This is what I was meant to do, baby. Actually, should I give him legs? Should I make more wheels here on the hips? I'm just gonna leave him be. Kajau. Kyoka Jiro. Earphone jack. What? Earphone jack. Is it like an like an audio jack? Like the hole? Or is it like ear earphone jack like that's like a person named Jack, and they have earphones. I don't think this person has a superpower, you know? I think it's just someone who, like, walked into, like, the, the Boku no Hero Academy, if you will, and, um, just, uh, parked his carcass and turned on some tunes. So, I think it's just a person who wears earphones. Koji Koda, and a voice. Once again, I have no clue what that means. Oh, and she's good friends with, um... Headphone jack. Oosh. Just looks like she's getting really good Wi-Fi. Toru Hagakure. Invisibility. Done. Masahiro Ojiro. Tail. This one's just a furry. I think this one's a boy. 
Yeah, ever since the pink girl, we haven't gotten to a character that I, I, I'm familiar with yet. Fur. Fur everywhere. Not like he has fur, but he just like wears a lot of fur. I'm thinking lion's tail. Let's go. Katsuki Bakugo, explosion. Okay, this is actually one I, I, I a character I know. I, I, I think I know. I think it's like blonde. And he's like really mad, I think. I think he's the one that's always mad. Rash, maybe abrasive. I know his hair goes like, whoosh. I think he wears a tank top. Explosion. Shoto Todoroki, half hot, half cold. Another one I actually know. Okay, he's like the one that's like split in half. One's white, one's red. He's got like that Zuko scar on his face. I know that one. I know him. He's like an emo boy or something like that. He might be the one where like one parent is a super villain and the other one was hero. Or I might be thinking of um when Taylor Lautner was in Sky High. Wait, but which side's which? I actually want kind of- I'm tempted to attempt. Attempt to attempt to make this one look good. I think this side is hot, this side's cold. So we're just gonna go with that one. Remember when I said I was tempted to attempt to make this one look good? That's kind of going away. Eijiro Kirishima. Hardening. I think this one's like a rock one. Let's go with a rock theme for this one. Oh, oh puny flashbags. I crush them with my rock. No, Ajiro, you can't do that. You can't do that. You're gonna get detention. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hello, students. Are you ready to rock? No, Ajiro, calm down. We're in the library. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Minoru Mineta. Pop off. It's the one everyone hates. I could just draw a grape and people would say that would be accurate. I know what you like perverted to. Suyu Asui. Frog. Another one, I know. They've all been saved for the end. I know she's a girl. Should I just straight up draw Kuropi? Because I think she looks like Kuropi, if I remember correctly. Let's draw a cutie pie. Oh, and it's like tied off in like in a ribbon at the end, I think. Yay! Yuga Aoyama, naval laser. I like this quirk because it gives me an idea of where to start. So naval laser, so... Actually, does that mean that belly button laser, or like, it's like a sailor character? We're gonna go with both. There we go, there's a naval laser. Momo Yaoyori's... Momo. Creation. I think this is another one with whom I am familiar. I mean, she shows a lot of skin, and she has black hair. She keeps in a ponytail. She can create things from her skin. I think that's the gist of the power. I saw that in a YouTube comment somewhere. She kind of looks like the Wii Fit trainer. We have two left. Ochako Uraraka, Zero Gravity. Another one I know the I know the appearance of. She wears pink and she has a light brown bob going on. That's what I know. Please excuse the helicopter that's surveying my building right now. It would be really funny if for zero gravity we just went like... I'm not gonna do her dirty like that. She's got like a Dora bob. And the rest of it. So last and least we have... Midoriya. All for one. Did I not mix it, these up well enough? It's so like, I got the main character at the very end. That's actually pretty It's pretty fun. <laughs> I should know what he looks like. I know he's got like, black green hair going on. I know it's- I know it's some real wild business. In fact, I might actually just straight up draw this with the green. I know it's like, but then the rest is black. Oh, he has freckles. He has freckles. And he looks, looks like a little baby. I don't know anymore. He kind of looks like Beetlejuice. If you're a fan of this anime, and you know other fans of this anime, I dare you to challenge someone else to try and guess who each of these characters are, given that the artist was only familiar with a handful of characters and was going almost entirely based on the name and the quirk. 
This was a bit of an experimental type of video, so I don't know if you guys like it or if you want me to do more videos like this in the future. I definitely had fun making it. It's something that I'm going to have to get used to, but if it's something that we can both enjoy, then we'll definitely expect more.